So now let's look at oil. Uh, oil is a primary energy source and the energy available per year from world oil production is about um, 30 billion barrels. So the world produces 30 billion barrels of oil a year and in in quads the quadrillion which is uh, 10 to the power of 15 BTU or 10 to the power of 18 joules the total energy available for the world per year is 170 quads and remember the world uses 540 550 quads of energy per year today so the world today uses 570 quads of energy annually so oil provides 30 percent of the world's energy so now let's look at u.s and saudi arabia oil production so united states so just to give you so the world produces a total of 30 billion barrels a year and the u.s produces about 3 billion barrels a year 10 percent of the world production and the U.S. produces this oil from about 600,000 oil wells. There are 600,000 oil wells. Saudi Arabia also produces a comparable amount, 15% of the world production. And they do it, their wells are still young relatively. And so their oil is 15% is produced from 1,000 oil wells. Now here is, a, so here is a, the flow rate from a typical well in the United States. So we have 600,000 of those. You're getting, you're pouring out, you're pumping up one, one liter per minute. And from a Saudi Arabian well, you're pumping out 1,200 liters per minute. Okay. So, and that's just because the, the Saudi wells are young and the U.S. wells are old. So uh, in in the in the u.s wells the hubert peak was passed about 40 years ago okay, so we are on the decline and we are running oil, out of oil in the u.s wells uh, now on the other hand in the world we haven't reached peak yet for the um uh, all the wells in the world okay and that's at least the belief yeah uh, the U.S. dependence on inter imported oil. The U.S. production peaked in the 70s and it's going down. So there's the Hubert peak that you're seeing. But uh, our use has not decreased. So we've had to import more and more oil. And our imports are going exponential. This was the 1970s oil shock. We were importing a whole bunch and then the import went down. Okay, so how much oil is out there? Okay, uh, so if the use of oil does not grow, if the growth rate is zero percent, uh, the U.S. in the U.S. all the oil would run out in forty-five years. In Canada, two hundred years. The old and the world oil would run out in seventy-five years. If the use increases by two percent, this would be the lifetime of all the oil in in the various places the world will run out of all its oil in 50 years so that's at a two percent annual growth rate what is the actual growth rate well in in this decade the actual growth rate was 1.7 percent so uh so anyway so and how long will the natural gas last the world has enough natural gas to last for another 75 years uh, at zero percent annual growth rate, but uh, the use of natural gas is has been increasing, uh, was increasing at two point six percent during that decade. So the U.S. has enough natural gas for another thirty years. Again. So the Hubert graph for worldwide coal production, the coal production we have not hit peak, so there is enough. There's plenty of coal, and we are hopefully going. Well, we are supposed to hit the peak at 2060. Let's hope that renewable energy use has increased 
tremendously by then that we don't even have to hit that peak and we'll let all the coal stay underground. So what are the life what's the lifetime of coal resources? At zero percent annual growth, then we have enough coal to last us another thousand five hundred years. Canada has enough coal to last two thousand years and the world has enough coal to last twelve hundred years. All right, at zero percent annual growth. Okay, let's pause.